Today, more and more people are going green and embracing sustainable lifestyles. In doing so, people are favoring a growing variety of environmentally friendly products. Everything from green toilet paper to hybrid cars. Green chemistry is the driving force behind this mindset and all of these eco-friendly products. Green chemistry involves new ways of making products with less water, less energy, with processes that use less toxic chemicals and produce less waste. Three scientists have quietly made a major advance in reducing the need for those chemicals in the production of gasoline. People in the United States alone burn an ocean of gas, almost 400 million gallons each day. Clearly, greener gasoline could be important in fostering sustainability. Vincent D'Amico, Emil van Bruckhoven, and Juha Yakula invented an environmentally friendly process for making a key gasoline ingredient called alkylate. That's an ingredient essential for greener gasoline. The American Chemical Society selected those three scientists as the 2010 winners of its award for affordable green chemistry. Alkylate is a premium uh, gasoline blend stock. Uh, it has high octane and uh, low in uh, polluting uh, contaminants. So it's a highly valued uh, uh, component of gasoline. Alkylate improves the quality of gasoline by improving its octane and making it cleaner burning. For years, scientists have sought better ways of making this clear, colorless liquid. But why? Because its production takes billions of gallons of liquid catalysts based on hydrofluoric acid or sulfuric acid. Hydrofluoric acid is extremely toxic. Leaks can form clouds that pose a potential health threat. Sulfuric acid-based catalysts are highly corrosive. Once used in a refinery, they must be transported off-site for regeneration so that they can be later reused. Now, these American Chemical Society awardees have found an answer. Solid catalysts. And for a long time, researchers have been looking at uh, new technology which uh, was uh, not using these uh, uh, corrosive, uh, toxic acids. Especially hydrofluoric acid is a toxic material. If you have an average unit in a refinery, you need about uh, 200 to 400 truckloads of sulfuric acids uh, to keep it running. Uh, it, you, you produce a lot of spent uh, acid. So, um, and that is why these researchers uh, for about uh, 30, 40, 50 years have been working on this uh, subject and, uh, and to get a nice and clean technology where you have a solid acid catalyst which, which is not uh, escaping from the installations in the refinery, which is harmless, uh, which has no uh, uh, toxic uh, uh, compounds uh, uh, related to it. That's exactly what D'Amico, Van Bruckhoven and Yakula have done. Their solid catalyst has enormous potential. Even with promising developments in solar energy and biofuels, research to make gasoline and other petroleum-based fuels greener is still essential. And what's important to, to realize is, is that uh, uh, gasoline is going to uh, uh, still be a significant uh, uh, source of uh, a fuel uh, for transportation and uh, even though there will be a growth in the biofuels industry uh, there's also the potential for the uh, biofuel derived material to be converted into alkylate so the technology does not only apply uh, to conventional refineries but also for the uh, potential uh, biofuel production of, of the future and it'll be important to have a, a green process to, uh, to do that in the future.